This is Blessing. He is a gray registered Tennessee walking horse. Um, he came to the farm about two years ago. He has a great personality, loves people, probably one of our most people friendly horses around. As you can see, he's a bit of a ham. He likes to have attention on him. Um, when you're horse handling him, he needs somebody who's confident, who knows what they're doing. He likes to overwalk people a lot of times and he will headbutt you. But if you let him know that you're in charge, then he is much more willing to cooperate. He likes to play. He's a fun horse just to come and spend time with outside of riding sessions, just to build a relationship with. When he builds a bond with his person, then he's so much more cooperative because he knows that you are a team and he likes, he likes to please you. He's still young at only around 12, so he's still maturing. He has turned into a really good therapy horse and I think he's going to be a really good horse for us down the road. This is Gabriel, but we call him Gabe for short. Um, he is one of the newest additions to the Rising Hope Farms family. And he is a chestnut Tennessee walking horse. Um, he is also one of the youngest horses here at the farm, so he can be pretty spunky. When you're horse handling him, um, you need to be very attentive. He needs to be the center of your focus at all times. The more clear and consistent cues that you can give to him, the better he will do for you. He does well with some of our younger riders um, who can have a lot of high energy themselves. Um, I think that probably stems from his being young and uh, energetic as well, just like they are. And so they do create a unique connection in that way. He also in the arena tends to want to drop his head a little bit. And so just be aware of that and make sure he keeps his head up during sessions. Another thing about Gabe is he is because he's new. He's at the bottom of the pecking order, which means every other horse in the barn can kind of boss him around a little bit. So um, just be careful. And when you're tying him next to other horses, if you're not sure how they interact together, I would uh, ask somebody who has been here a little bit longer and would know. Um, another thing that I would suggest is beforehand, if you have time, going ahead and taking him down to the arena, maybe lunging him, getting him familiar with his surroundings. Um, just because of his newness overall, um, he just doesn't have quite the level of experience that some of the other horses have, but he definitely makes up for it in personality. He is um, one of the kindest souls. He definitely works to please, so he responds very well to verbal praise and he is just a very special horse. This is Heaven. He's our draft horse. He's also the biggest horse we have here at Rising Hope Farms. We use him with our bigger adult riders. We also use him with, uh, for carriage driving, our veterans program, Horses for Heroes. He's the best friend for Balaam, our miniature donkey we have here at Rising Hope Farms. It is the biggest horse, so you have to be careful with him. He's uh, very strong, but then again, he is known as the gentle giant. So if you're careful around his feet, he can move fast and he's very powerful. He can step on you accidentally and it hurts. If he kicks you, it hurts. So be patient with him. Be aware of his space requirements and don't get in his face and make sure that you're in a good mood when you're with him because then you'll find out that really he is a gentle giant. This is Miracle. Miracle is a Spanish Mustang. He's the smallest horse in the herd. And he's also the fastest horse in the herd. His pecking order is about middle ways, probably behind Prophet and Shadow, but in front of Gabe and Blessing and Gideon. Even though he's the smallest horse in the herd, he can, he can also, probably one of the strongest, he can carry about 15% of his weight rather than 10% like the rest of the horses. He's really easy to, to put a halter on. He's really easy to put a tack on. Usually whenever you lead him, he will feed off your energy. So if you're really high energy, he's going he's gonna to pull you around the arena pretty much. But if you stay your, keep your energy low, his energy will be low and he, he can be very patient. Um, one thing you don't see right now, but no, his normal position for his ears are back like this, whereas most, most people would think he's angry, but he's not. That's his normal position. He can be very, very skittish around things that he's not familiar with. Uh, once he gets familiar with them, he's pretty calm, but 
to begin with, you need to introduce him to any new toys or anything like that, and he'll do really well. Miracle is, because of his size, he's not so intimidating, so a lot of times the, the kids connect with him first because he's a little bit smaller than the rest. One thing you have to know is that he does like to nip occasionally, but also whenever you lead him, he likes to have his nose up next to your hand. And he also likes to lick a lot. He likes to lick the salt off your hand, so you don't want to be put off by that. That's just, that's just his normal disposition. This is Gideon. He is an Appaloosa, and he is one of the oldest horses that we have here at Rising Hope. He has just a very gentle, quiet disposition. Um, he is one of the best teachers that we have here, especially for new volunteers and new riders. Um, his size is something that a lot of our riders find comforting since he's a little bit smaller, kind of like Miracle. He does have some health problems because of his age, and uh, so because of that, we try to be sensitive to his needs and um, try to lighten his workload where we can. He does have very sensitive flanks due to those health problems, um, so when you're working with him, just be very careful around um, his sides and uh, his tummy. He is one of the most calming horses that I have had the pleasure of working with. Um, some of his riders just have developed a very unique and special bond with Gideon here and um, he just has this way about him that allows him to calm you down in any situation no matter what kind of day you're having so he's just all, an all-around great horse and I'm just thankful that he's here. This is Prophet. He's a 16 year old spotted racking horse and he's been at Rising Hope for 10 years and uh, he was a rescue, so he's still kind of touchy about you messing with his, his head and ears at the top because he was abused. But he's come a long ways, and uh, you just need to keep that in mind, though, when you're working with him. Uh, he's at the top of the pecking order here, which means uh, the other horses have to listen to him. And he'll demonstrate this even down at the arena uh, when we're having class as he does not like to walk behind the other horses, so you just might as well go ahead and take him to the front of the line and he'll act much nicer. He's cautious, very cautious with people, but he's gentle and affectionate. He's very smart. He has a good disposition, but remember, he's quite spirited. Uh, this horse also seems to have a really good connection with the kids. From the fact that he was abused, we feel like his healing came a lot from one of our children here at the farm, a little girl named uh, Addie in a wheelchair and uh, one day we needed him really bad to work for us because some of the other horses were not doing well and um, they had a connection that day and that's when it started and he's just done great ever since with our children. And just remember in catching him to put a halter on him, you cannot force it, you have to wait and let him come to you or you approach him very slowly and gently and he'll usually come around and even help you with it after that. His pasture buddy is Shadow. This is Samson, and Samson is a 20-year-old Tennessee walking horse. His coloring is strawberry roan with a white blaze and socks. Samson is um, a sweet horse. He is just really easy, very easy to handle in the arena. He's very easy to catch, but he can be aggressive when, when feeding time rolls around with the other horses, like kicking them. Samson has arthritis in his spine, so it's really hard for him to carry heavy riders. Um, but he's willing to do anything that we ask him to do. He really loves our riders here at Rising Hope Farms. And he's just a very, very loving horse. This is Shadow. Shadow is a spotted racking horse. He's 24 years old and he's been with Gail since he was just a youngster. He's quite curious. And at times he can be a, a little bit hard-headed too. You need to remember when you're sensing his girth that he might take a cheap shot at you, so just be aware of his uh, of what's going on around you. Uh, at times he's a bit lazy, but he's also intelligent, affectionate, and gentle. And uh, he has a good disposition. He's really quite easy to catch, even in the stall. He'll let you put his halter on him, and he doesn't give you much uh, fuss about it. He ranks at the top of the pecking order right up there with profit and his pasture buddy is profit. 